Hello everyone, and welcome to another edition of Midweek Minutes. Remember me? I'm Bad Dad. I'm responsible to bear, affirm, and train my children. But I also wear other hats around my house. I'm also maintenance dad. I'll talk more about that later. But first, I want to review our message from Sunday. The title was, When Bad is Really Good. And the passage was Philippians chapter 1, verses 12 to 19. Now, I'm not going to read the entire passage, but I'll summarize. The Apostle Paul was writing the Philippian believers and letting them know that despite his bad situation, God was using it for his good, to spread the good news, to strengthen his faith, and to make him known. Now, I'm going to read the last verse, which really capsulizes the Apostle Paul's heart in the midst of his bad situation. It says, For I know that as you pray for me and the Spirit of Jesus Christ helps me, this will lead to my deliverance. Now we had three points on Sunday and they had a core phrase. It says, When God uses bad. God uses bad to spread the good news. He uses bad to strengthen our faith. And he uses bad to cause us to rely on him. Now back to maintenance dad. The other day, I had a bad thing happen. Our washing machine stopped working. And if you know, having a full household with children who are involved in sports, who go through clothes like it's going out of style, that was a bad situation. And a washing machine would put me back hundreds of dollars, an unexpected expense I wasn't prepared to make. And so I did what maintenance dad often does. I looked for a solution and I Googled it. I found a way to repair my washing machine. I bought a $25 part, put in 90 minutes, and I was able to repair my washing machine. And now it works better than it did before. So you see that bad situation caused me to search up and learn something to repair my washing machine and save myself hundreds of dollars. Now, I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, <laughs> but I know who is the sharpest of all. The Bible says that the word of God is sharper than a two-edged sword. And Jesus is the word. And so whatever bad situation you might be going through now, God can cut through it and cause that bad situation to work out for your good. And that's what it means when bad is really good. So I encourage you, see the bad situations in your life for what they are, an opportunity for God to get the glory. Thank you for joining me for another edition of Midweek Minutes. I hope to see you again next week and goodbye for now. Gotta get back to work. Maintenance man's work is never done.